What's going on, guys? So, we're back here with Plutonia again. This time we're going into the Death Domain. This level is very intense right from the start, and it doesn't really let up too much as you go through it. This is another actually pretty tough map. So right here in the very beginning, you have a lot going on. There are chain gunners stationed uh, up there on that platform, as well as here on the ground. Um, do try to kill them first, because they will actually take you down. And if you do need that, do not hesitate to grab it. Um, once you have gotten the Arachnatrons and the Chain Gunners, definitely get these Revenants up here. Just use your Rocket Launcher. Get them as quickly as you can. Because they are very, very annoying in this uh, environment here. I'm still getting attacked by Chain Gunners, so I'm going to grab this. I hope I got him. Let me see. There might even be more in there. Just be aware, there's a lot of guys in there. Sometimes they walk out. Sometimes they don't come out until a little bit later. Um, just be aware of it and you'll be fine. Now, once this area is clear, and you do want to make sure this area is cleared out for whenever you come back later, uh, go on ahead and come down here, flip this. I'm Yeah, there's another chain gunner shooting at me. Uh, he decided to wait until the last possible moment. Because he's a douche. There's super shotgun here if you need it. And, um, yeah, just continue through here. You know, this this stuff is pretty simple right here. Make your way through here, kill them. If you need this armor, you can get it. I'm going to save it, and you're going to see why. Interact with this. Come through here. Uh, again, ignore this platform right now. When you interact it with that uh, picture, it opened up this door, which is a secret, and you can get a mega armor. Plus, it allows you to kill these Mancubi, who, you know, if you're going for 100% kills, uh, you might as well just do it. So, yep, just come on in here. After you grab the Mega Armor, make sure these guys are... Uh, <laughs> wow, cannot speak. Make sure these guys are dead. Um, and there is a lot of rockets and shells in here as well, if you need them. So, it's a pretty valuable secret. Definitely go on ahead and activate that as soon as you can, in my opinion. And then come up here, face this way. You can actually kill this guy on the way up. Then just get the chainsaw and finish these pinkies. Wow, he got me through the uh, chainsaw even with all his hits done. Flip this. Um, try to definitely kill these hit scanners before you go in there. Do not go in there while they're still alive, even if they're, you know, shit tier enemies. Get your BFG. And uh, just be prepared. Here's an arch file. Kill him immediately. Some chain gunners are going to try to come in and ambush you. Alright, got him. So, that's another instance where things can get very, very, very ugly very quickly. So, the BFG is actually a great method for preventing a lot of frustration. If you want to drop down, you can just do this. Um, it's not necessary whatsoever, but you can do it. This is a secret. You actually have to interact with the light that opens. Come up here. And, uh, yeah, get yourself a soul sphere, man. You know. Overcharge your health, all that good stuff. Interact with this. This is pretty fun, actually. Um, get your chain gun. Get this. And then, uh, try to hide behind these guys as much as you can. They're actually going to shoot each other. And um, as long as you are hiding behind a lot of them as meat shields, they really cannot uh, hit you, and they're just going to kill themselves, and it's pretty awesome, so. Come in here. If you do still have your invisibility as you keep moving forward, it can help you out a little bit. Whoa. Yeah, get your rocket launcher now. Get these lost souls right here. Uh, ouch. Yeah, see, your invisibility, they're, they're kind of going to shoot each other a little bit, but this is why I also don't like invisibility. It makes it very hard to dodge them. Like, they shoot really erratically or whatever. And dodging kind of just becomes based on luck rather than skill when you're invisible. That's for, you know, projectile enemies. For hit scan enemies, invisibility is great. Get your BFG again. This is actually pretty tough, but the BFG helps you out a lot. Come in here. 
These barons are just going to be randomly teleporting around. BFG helps you out quite a bit if you don't miss like I just did. And, um, yeah, at this point, once at least one of them is dead, and especially once these barrels are destroyed, you can't just use a super shotgun. If you or them hits the barrels, the barrels might actually teleport and then explode, and since they kind of teleport into a random spot, that can kill you, like, unexpectedly, so it's kind of bullshit, but um, the BFG kind of helps you end things quickly. Now you got a lot of Hell Knights in here. Just shoot your rockets at the wall. And, you know, you're going to hear them die. I can see them die because all the gore thanks to Smooth Doom, but, you know. He's down. Uh, come in here. Collect what you need. Uh, get your rocket launcher. Flip this. Come down here. There's going to be an arch file. He is your number one priority. I don't see him. I don't know why he's not out here yet. What's going on here, actually? Flip this. Well, for some reason he's not here, but go on ahead and kill these guys. It is absolutely critical that you kill them now, because if you don't... Um, you're gonna have to run into these pits, and if they're all just in here, you're gonna get punched to death. And this guy, yeah, he was actually doing some Matrix shit, dodging all my rockets. Now, I think I saw some of these guys teleport out, and I saw the arch file. Well, I did not see the arch file, which is weird. So, hopefully, you know, that doesn't come back to bite me in the near future, but anyways, jump down here now, get your blue key. Come on out. You have your blue key, um, just progress forward. There's the arch file now. That's very bizarre. I don't know what caused that to happen for him to go up there. You can take damage at this point. It doesn't matter. There is a Mega Sphere. Yeah, that's everything. So I guess there is a trigger out there that can cause them to teleport up there. That's really tricky. I did not expect that to happen, but um, it's not a big a deal, as you can see. You can just take them out with rockets. Now, before you exit, come through here. Touch that and then immediately run over here. Get a lot of extra ammo. Now, when you come in here, typically the store is closed. You actually have to shoot it or just hit it. That reveals a Mega Sphere, which is awesome. And it lets you end the level with 200 armor and health. I believe one of the chain gunners actually shot it for me and opened it. But, anyways, that's Death Domain. It's very, very hard. It's, it's a lot trickier than it looks. Um, I, yeah, I guess there is uh, a teleport in there for the arch file that can make him teleport up there. It's not a big deal, as you just saw. I was not expecting it, and I got through it just fine. Um, it's mainly the beginning area, kind of like uh, the last level. The beginning area is the toughest part, but this map actually maintains its difficulty, you know, throughout, and it is relatively hard, but, you know, just a little bit of practice. You will get through it just fine. And yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I will see you guys next time in Slayer. All right, I'm out. See ya. All right, so apparently there was actually a little bit of a lore at the end of the level, and I kind of skipped it. So I actually came back through the level, did it all over again. <laughs> I'm actually going to just read it to you guys and show you. So here we go. You've bashed and battered your way into the heart of the Devil Hive. Time for a search and destroy mission aimed at the gatekeeper whose foul offspring is cascading to earth. Yeah, he's bad, but you know who's worse. I don't know what the gatekeeper is. I guess it's just um, Icon of Sin or something. 
grinning evilly, you check your gear and get ready to give the bastard a little hell of your own making. So basically, um, I guess we're just entering like the devil hive levels, which are basically just more hell themed levels, but I guess they're supposed to be like way fucking harder. I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to see you guys in Slayer in the next video. I'm out. See ya.